Hi, I'm Jeff Chrissy, editor of Commercial Carrier Journal, and I'm here today with James Gillette, news editor for CCJ and Overdrive at the Technology Research Center here in uh, Ohio for a Cummins press event where they are unveiling a brand new lineup of engines in both the 15 liter and 12 liter size. Uh, this is the uh, efficiency series engine that we look at first. Uh, there's a lot of changes that are common between the two uh, relative to the ISX-15 that's, being, uh, that's in the market today. Uh, a new turbocharger, we've got a new oil pan as well, the new water pump, there's a new lube pump, the gear train has been also revised. The EGR cooler is, in, is changed on both engines. Uh, on the outside one of the big changes is the change to a maintenance free breather. So the uh, efficiency series gets an increased compression ratio and new pistons and a significantly revised lube oil system. Uh, the X15 series here on a like-for-like -like comparison of the 450 horsepower node, which is pretty common for line haul applications, um, is uh, around two and a half to three percent better uh, than the engine that we're making today. All right, so we're here now in a International Pro Star with the Cummins X15 efficiency package uh, with the Smart Advantage option. I'm gonna set the cruise control going to uh, take a look at the instant fuel economy that we're getting with this with this engine. And we're cruising right at uh, 62 miles an hour and uh, the instant fuel economy says we're getting right at 10 and a half miles a gallon right now. One of the things that I noticed when, when we did switch into cruise control, here we are in, in, in top gear, the uh, engine RPMs are currently at 1125 uh, and again at 62 miles an hour and uh, it's remarkably quiet. Now some of that is in fact the, the, the cab itself in, in the International Pro Star. A lot of it has to do with the fact that we're able to run at this speed at such a low uh, low engine speed. All right, so now tell me about some of the differences between the X15 efficiency that we just talked about and then the performance package. So we actually have a slightly bigger compressor. The EGR cooler is optimized for low pressure gloss at the high flows that we experience. This engine has a, a high performance water pump uh, and the lube oil system in this engine is optimized for the needs of a high performance, highly rated engine <clears throat> and actually a new fuel pump which has the capability to deliver all the fuel we need for the high ratings. So we've done quite a lot of work to improve the transient performance of the engine. That, that torque response uh, is something that the heavy haul users really appreciate and it's something that uh, we think we've really improved in this engine over the current product. So here we are in the cab with Daryl Ward. You may know him from the Ice Road Truckers. And we are in a Peterbilt equipped with the X15 Performance Package, which is Cummins' new workhorse. And we are currently loaded at 80,000 pounds. So Daryl, tell me a little bit about your impressions of the X15 Performance Series and, and how it differs from the efficiency package. And uh, in, in your applications, how you, how you would use an engine like this. You know, I like the performance package for the simple fact is this engine right here has 605 horsepower. It has 2,050 foot-pounds of torque. All of the applications that I use it for, the timber industry, the mining industry, ice roads, I'm always off-road. As I pull train loads of logs out of the Rocky Mountains and I'm stretched out to around 100, 105 feet long, back in 120,000 pounds, and I've got to pull through mud and deep snow you know, a lot of times I got tire chains on both axles and digging hard to get to where I'm going. It's nice to know that Cummins has the torque and the horsepower to get you through where you're, you know, without having problems. When I pull out here on this test track, you don't even know you're pulling 80,000 pounds. It's like accelerating with an empty truck. It, it picks right up to speed. I'm rolling 75 miles an hour right now amazing powerhouse. We've done a lot of work on um, improving the engine braking performance. The base engine braking is a whole lot stronger. It's somewhere around 500 horsepower, 1800 RPM and it'll drop and still hold maybe 400 horsepower at really low engine speeds. And the integration with the transmission means we're downshifting to optimize braking power all of the time. So in switch position 3 you've got really strong brakes but if you don't want that you've got switch position 2 or 1 where you've got less braking power. Heading up here into the, the back turn, we'll get to feel the, the engine brakes for the first time. I'm going to start us off in sort of the second switch position so that we get nice smooth brakes. That gives you around two thirds of braking power. For people driving on the interstate that don't want the really strong brakes as they're maybe merging off, you can use this and it, it feels a whole lot like the current sort of 2016 2015 product does. The downshifting will shift you down to somewhere around 1500 RPM after shifting. 
So we're coming towards the braking area now. I'm going to push the switch up into switch position 3 so that we get that maximum braking, which is where we make some of the major improvements in integration of the shifting as well. So we've, we've increased braking power so that even at cruise speeds we've got instantly somewhere around 400 horsepower and then the engine's going to shift maybe out to 1800 RPM, give us upwards of 500 horsepower of braking. So we're going up to the cones now and all I'm going to do is take my feet off the pedals and you'll see the braking power. So we're at the cones now, I've taken my feet off, there's the 400 horsepower, the first downshift takes us to 1600 RPM you can feel it really pulling quite hard now and slowing us down. The next shift's going to hit 1800. You can feel it there really pulling back now. We're at 1800 RPM and we're slowing down pretty quick. We're down to 30 already and I got to the cones there at just over 45. And the brakes continue to pull really, really strong as we back down towards 15 now. And it's going to pull us all the way down to 5 miles an hour and then the brakes will disengage and be able to just stop. That was all engine brake, I did not touch the pedals. Well, Steve, tell us a little bit about uh, connected calibrations and connected tuning and uh, how they uh, will benefit, please. Well, we're really excited about connected calibrations. We're out in the forefront of the industry. We're able now with connected calibrations to download new calibrations to engines in the field as the trucks are out, out working. Uh, you load it in alongside the existing program that's in there. And once it knows it's in there and safe and it's ready to run, it switches over to the new program. Just like when you get new software onto your computer, it downloads it into the computer, and when you're ready to have it done, you say go ahead and update. Cummins makes updates to the engines based on things we learn working with our customers. It's the customer's choice to download it or not, and uh, this makes that easy so they can get the most recent software into the engines as quickly as it, it, it becomes available. Okay, well tell me a little bit about uh, connected tuning and uh, what it means uh, for, for carriers running companies. So connected tuning allows the customer, the fleet, to tune their engine to the application. So it's actually going to be a suite of products around different uh, applications that you might want to do or different parts of the tuning you might want to accomplish, whether it be working with the road speed governor and how that affects the operation of the uh, engine or whether it might be fuel efficiency uh, or other things. The tuning are the parameters that tailor the engine to the application.